Hey everybody, welcome! Falcon, Perry Arion. We're gonna be taking a look at Perry Arion today, which is a, a game by TBA Games. Uh, for the most part, this is a one-person project in a sense, what I've been kind of picking up from the devlogs and things of that nature. That being said, this is a Mars colonization type of game, which, you know, something that I really, really enjoy. I love colonization type of games, especially when it comes to Mars, things of that nature. There's a lot of things that I like, but on the flip side, there's a lot of things that I don't really necessarily enjoy too much of it. We'll kind of talk about that as we go along here. So really quickly, let me get into the game here. New games we're going to be doing. Uh, when you do a new game, you have to pick a place that you want to land in. If you click on these um, little highlight points, they'll tell you where you want to land at, etc. And each and every single area they can land on has like, you know, different things like more more products that you can kind of harvest, and then some are a little bit more dangerous, some have like radioactivity and things of that nature, so you kind of have to pick your poison in a sense here. When you um, select your, I guess, landing point, you essentially have to pick a party of four people here. I'm going to go with the people I'm kind of used to, which is um, Tilde over here, from Sweden, no less, and then we have, not that there's anything wrong with that, I'm just saying she's from Sweden. I I'm not sure where the no less thing came from. I apologize, <laughs> it's not meant to be anything derogatory, I assure you. We have Pang from China. I want to pick her as well. For the most part, I think the females seem to have like better stats overall than the males, and you know, that's um, just an observation from my point. Again, doesn't mean anything whatsoever. Uh, I'm gonna go with probably Geneva over here because of her high athleticism and her pretty good endurance over here. And then finally, I usually like to go with the really charismatic dude, which is the, the US man. Apparently the US is the most charismatic dude around and athletic. Everything else though, he's kind of subpar in, so I'm not sure what that even means, but there you go. Samuel. These faces are kind of a little bit eerie, man. <laughs> some of them look really realistic, and some of them are just like really... I don't know, very cartoony. So I'm not sure, like, this guy just stands out, doesn't he? And so does Tilde in a sense. Like, you guys are kind of like cartoon characters, but... This guy, it looks like he was just kind of like, you know, photoshopped from something. It's kind of weird. But yeah, we're gonna continue going forward over here. Uh, I'm gonna go with normal. Oh, good god almighty, what is this supposed to be? Can we just uh, skip this? We definitely can. Okay, I'm not sure what that's all about, but it scares the hell out of me. Alright, so this is essentially... Your startup point right here, right? What you want to do is go in here, first and foremost, and start looking for supplies. If you hit the control key over here, it will highlight everything that's around in your area. Again, one of the things that I like is the whole Mars exploration type of thing. One of the things that I don't like, and I will mention it right off the bat, is that I can't go over here and I can't move the camera over here. I can hit control and I can see what what is highlighted from far off, right? But I can't necessarily take the camera like in a first person or like a free view type of thing and go and check it out myself. Now, you could you could argue this is kind of like a fog of war type of system where, you know, you can't necessarily see what's ahead of you. That's part of the whole colonization thing and exploration. And that's a viable excuse. That is a viable excuse. I will accept that. But at the same time, as a gamer, I do like to be able to know where I'm headed to. And that's one of the things that I'm not a big fan of. Now, I want to send everybody out right now because I want to get some resources down over here. All these guys because um, they are going to be used to actually increase our base and actually colonize a bit. So if we come over here, I'm going to send everybody to the airlock. Now, not everybody can land in the, or hang out in the airlock too long, right? If you look at their blue bar, that's going to be essentially their oxygen in a sense. So, you know, if that's, you know, hit zero, then their health's going to actually start dropping and you could essentially lose people that way. So right now I'm going to go to control. I'm going to send Genoviva over here to mine some hematite. So, you know, good luck to you on that. And here's another thing, whenever you do that, you're basically, the only camera movement that you do have is by the character itself. So essentially, once she's over here doing her thing, I can't move the camera again, I don't know what the other people are doing, I have to tab over to them. And again, it's a minor complaint, I'm aware, but it's still something that I'm not too crazy about. There's ice over here right off the bat, which is good. Uh, so let me have um, the jock over here go check out the ice. What am I Let's see here. And this is going to be Teal Day if I'm right. My Swedish um, engineer scientist. Let me have you come over here and check out the uh, Philosilecates. Well, okay, whatever. Yeah, I can barely speak English as it is, so you know, don't give me these fancy big words, man. And then you're gonna come over here and do the same. Now we found some hematite, some ice, and some Philosilecates. We haven't found. Well, we haven't found sulfates, which is another one that's actually really needed to um, make some of the expansions to our base over here. I'm just gonna walk over there really slowly. Another thing that I wouldn't mind, a speed up function. You know what? Like, just speed it up, let the oxygen drop faster depending on the speed that you're using, and that's fine. But this sometimes takes a little bit of time, and again, one of the other things that I will definitely complain about the game. But now that we're up here with her, I can at least kind of see what's going on with the rest of the map. There is some sulfates over here, which is excellent. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me change my mind about that, and since we already have somebody using or getting 
silos for us. We're gonna have you do the sulfates. Alrighty. So, at this point, essentially, they're over here mining some of the basic uh, ingredients that we need to kind of expand our base now. We have the uh, food icon over here, which is at 18. We have water at 18 as well. You want to make sure that, you know, this doesn't drop to zero, otherwise your people will start starving, going to dehydration. Not really a good thing. Now, if you're wondering, this is it? All you do is just walk around? Well, essentially, you're going to start expanding your base, and you also make a vehicle, which lets you actually travel further terrains. But as you can see right now, considering that we have to manage the oxygen over here, um, that's going to be a problem at some point or another for us, because we won't be able to get too far without, you know, not being able to get back. So, I will be able to make a rover in order to kind of expand and move further out, which is a good thing, definitely. Now, you might have also noticed when... This little picture icon over here? Well, that's not a picture icon, is it? Now, that's just telling me about the ice. There's a picture icon, I believe, over here. Now, with the picture icon, what you can do is actually take pictures of the area and then send them back to the Earth, and you get funding for that. So, you gotta keep an eye out for those, and again, funding's gonna be kind of important later on. Right now, the game kind of takes it easy on you because you're yes. barely starting out, so while these people mine away, we will be able to just kind of look at the area over here. And again, this is one of the reasons why I would love to be able to like, have a, you know, a free movable camera because I would like to go and explore. Meanwhile, they do their thing over here because at this point, you're just kind of waiting for them to actually finish up their um, mining of these ores over here and other ingredients. We have 14 eyes, 58. I think we're just about done. I would like them to finish up what they're doing, but on the flip side, you guys, will, you also have to take advantage or take a look at the fact that our oxygen is getting kind of low over here. What do you need? I mean, the moment your oxygen runs out, you're not going to die. But you are going to start taking damage over time. The oxygen, the moment you get back to your airlock, it'll be replenished, but um, your health will not. In order to regain your health, you're going to actually have to get a med bay up and running. And that is the other part of the game that I like. The whole building yes. Mars faction type of thing, right? However... That is also had that also comes back with a drawback because the game doesn't let you kind of build to your own need. And I understand the games like SimCity basically have like, you know, like prototype of buildings you can make, right? Like, you know, if you want to set this building up, it's already made for you. You're not gonna, you know, manually construct it yourself to your liking. And that's understandable. This game, however, just places the things that you want to build, like say like a med bay or a agriculture area, it places it to its own will. Genoviva has finished um, mining the Hynatide, which is good, okay. So that is, um, you over here if I'm right? Totally is. So you are, you're kind of really far. You need to get back to base. Otherwise, you're going to be having some issues with your oxygen right there. Now, um, Homeboy over here is done too, right? No, no, this is, excuse me. Did I choose the wrong person? Periodia entry unlocked. Okay, well, I'm not sure what that is just yet, but give me a second. Was that Pang? I guess that was Pang. I, I I ordered Pang away for earlier before her sulfates were done, I think, but that's okay because her oxygen was pretty low anyway. So right now, let's ever head everybody head to the base right now because we're kind of really running low on oxygen. That's not a bad thing because now I'll have to come back and take this picture. I don't think you're going to be making it back in time. You're going to start taking some HP damage over here. I'm apologizing for that too, today. I mean, me and you are cool. You're kind of like the, the, the leader of the squadron over here, so essentially we need to keep you alive. Otherwise, you know, you leave, um... The U.S. jock over here in charge, and next thing you know, our, our mission's basically a failure. He doesn't know how to control stuff. So let's see, as soon as she gets back over here, we'll be fine. I don't think oh, she'll be making it back in time. Good. Alrighty. So, right now, this is Soul 1. I believe that's going to be telling you, like, you know, how long you've been here. We have 2,000 gold, essentially, or 2,000 in terms of funds to do some other things. So let me go back into the little colony, or not colony, but the airlock itself. Now that we have some resources, we can essentially do some stuff over here. I could order resources from Earth. Ordering resources provides your colony with an influx of resources from Earth. This balanced carrot package contains 10 hematite, 10 philosophates, 10 sulfates, 1 food, and 1 water. So, if you can't find anything right off the bat, you could essentially order some supplies because you do have 2,000 to start off with. But right now, we're looking pretty good, so that's not really a big deal. Excuse me, what was this all about? There was a, a thing over here. Uh, <laughs> some sort of thing letting me know something was going on. Now I don't know what it was, because apparently it came back out and it's like, okay, you missed your chance to do it. Well then. Alrighty, so the first thing we want to do is, um, let's get Jockman back out here. He's going to be building something for us, and what I want to do is go into build, and I want to get our food supply up and running. So this will be the first thing that we build. Did I click on it? No, I didn't. Thought I did, but apparently I didn't. Excuse me. There we go. So, click away. That'll be using up whatever amount of resources it asks for. This will be the level 1 agriculture. So he's going to go over here, 
well, he's not going to go over here. But as you can see, this is placed automatically for you. Like, you can't necessarily do it yourself. And that's one of the things that bugs me because, you know, it's like, let, let me put the base in my own discretion how I kind of want to do it. But the game's just kind of like, no, I'm going to place it for you. You have to just deal with it. And again, it's like, you know, that's part of the one of the things I enjoy about these type of games. Let, give me some freedom. I will do it in my own volition. And the way I kind of like it, I want to set up my own thing because if this is how it basically goes each time, every colony, no matter who's playing the game, is going to have a similar looking colony because these things seem to be placed at random on the game's own discretion. So he's going to go over here and build this meanwhile. That's agriculture. Now, I guess we're going to have somebody else, um, athleticism 19, endurance. Let me use Tilde over here. Tilde, you're going to come out here and you're going to build for us a... Let's see, this is to, this is a base tech module that provides a power grid for the entire base, which is necessary for maintaining electricity, life support, temperature controls throughout the base. Allows communication with Earth via satellite link, supplies the old enough power to support three other modules with level two upgrades. So this will be a power module once we get a few more extra things up in here running. This is going to be for water. This is going to be our med bay. This I haven't unlocked yet, so I'm not entirely sure what that is. Maybe an upgrade to our airlock altogether. But we're going to do this one right now, which is, I believe... The setup for the rover. So, let's see. We're gonna use you. Come over here and build this module for us. Now, I'm not entirely sure um, what really merits how fast you build. Like, I sent this guy out here because he has a lot of um, athleticism. So, it seems like he's building that a lot faster. So, I'm not sure if athleticism actually, you know, has anything to do with that one. I'd imagine it probably does. So, now that we have this up and running, you'll see that... This whole layout that we placed over here is kind of getting built. So this is going to be our agriculture area. Now, you could essentially go back to the base now and just hang out here for a second. Thank you for that. Now, I'm going to go back in here. Now that we actually have an agriculture thing, we could actually put people to actually make some food and research other things, which is, again, one of the things I really enjoy about the game. Let me research things. Let me kind of like, you know... Give me my own freedom to do things, but when you start placing things automatically for me, it's not really something I'm enjoying too much now. So with Science uh, 17, Engineering 20, I'm going to send you over to Agriculture. And you, I'm going to hold up out here for a second more than likely. So let's go over here. And with Peng, since she has a high Science and Engineering, we could put her down to Research and Biology for us. Researching bio Astrobiology is an ongoing task that earns Agriculture experience points based on the level of Colonist Science stat. So, because she has 17 in signs, I think Tilde might be better for this, but I'm just going to use her for now. And it'll tell me in 24 seconds we'll have uh, one of the researches done. Let's go back over here now. And did um, Homeboy ever make it back over here? Hey, hey. Oh, you're, you're stuck now. What are my orders? You're, you're stuck. Will do. And again, that's one of the things I don't like about the automatic placement, because you have to literally go all the way around. Excuse me, where are you going right now? You just don't want to play anymore? You're done? Well, look, man. Earth isn't that way. If you just want to go back home, you're going the wrong direction. I'm telling you right now. Geneva is feeling fatigue. Heal in the med bay module to elevate symptoms. Okay. Well, Genoneva, you're just hanging out inside, aren't you? I mean, what's... Oh, yeah. Fatigued. You're just hanging out inside. Alrighty. Well, is this guy back? Hey. You. Go back inside the base, man, alright? So what's your problem? Yeah, get in there. Alrighty. Not sure what that was all about. That's the first time I've ever actually lost control of somebody like that, so, um... <laughs> I guess another thing that I'm kind of disliking. So, we need a med bay to kind of get the fatigue out of here. So, I'm gonna send you back out here, even though you went nuts just a while ago. And let's see about building this uh, med bay facility, which is pretty, you know, important to have anyway, so I might as well get it built. That's gonna be over here. Yes. So, my friend, if you don't mind, let's come over here and build this module. How are you coming along over here, Tilde? Just about done. This will give us the rover if I'm right, and then we'll be able to go out there and explore a little bit more. Which is what I'm looking to do, because I want to go out there and explore. I didn't necessarily haven't explored this um, drop point before, so this will definitely be new for me. Yes. So as soon as she's done, we'll send her back inside. And I want to take a look at her research and see how that's going along. See, I don't want to necessarily do help. Let's look at her research right now. This is going to be done right now. So research biology. Oh, she keeps doing it over and over. I get you. I get you. So yeah, keep going, researching, it's fine. And there is, this should be our rover right there, perfect. So now, Tilde, do me a solid and get yourself back inside over here and replenish your um, oxygen. Alrighty, so that's going to be going inside over there. You are building this over here, so good luck to that and meet that med bay. Now, with the rover, 
you could actually have two people come in here and send them out on missions and scouting and then, you know, finding some more, you know, ingredients for us over here. So, in order to do that, <clears throat> Tilde, why are you kind of shaking over here? It's kind of weird. Let's go and, um, let's see, what do we have here? We have Make Repairs and Research Geology. Let's check what this one's all about. Studying soil samples is an ongoing task that earns geology experience points based on the level of colonist science stat. Geology experience can be used to unlock new upgrades in the geological branch of the research tree. Okay. And we can also make repairs. Performing maintenance fixes building damage and malfunctions as well as restoring the full use and repressurization. Broken modules. If a rover is docked, you may also be it may also be repaired. This task earns colony experience points that can be used in the colony upgrade tree. Alright, and the module for the med bay is done. Excellent. Let's have you come back inside the base, my man. Alrighty. So back inside the base, I'm gonna have you um go over here, move to med. And heal colonists. So you just hang out over here. It's going to take you a minute to heal up, so that's fine. We can research some medicine as well. Probably based on the science that is well, as most of the other ones are. Alrighty, let's get back to the airlock over here. So we have both of our people over here. We have a researcher, one person healing. I guess what we could do now is um, send both of these individuals out to um, mess around with the rover over here. And give us something else to do. So you guys come out here. And you, my friend, get inside the rover. And then Tilda, you could probably go shotgun on this one. You want the jock to be riding that rover, assuming he was in it. You want to go inside of it, dog? No, you don't want to? You're scared of cars? I guess you got shotgun then. Alrighty, now in terms of controlling this beast over here... <laughs> one second. You got to click on it, and you come over here. This is how you control it. So, suddenly the WASD keys are useful in the game. So we could travel farther, which is good. Let me hit the control key here, but again... I wish there was a map on the um, rover itself. Oh, we got some dust happening over here. There's gonna be some tornado. Geneva has finished healing. Good. There's gonna be some sort of tornadoes and like you know dust modules that will affect your colony. There is a uh, definitely a way to die in this game. You just kind of have to find it. And I guess the further you get out of the uh, colony area itself, the more of a chance you run that risk here. So right now, what is this supposed to be? I I wish I knew. It's not telling me right here, huh? I have to get out and actually take a look at it. Alrighty. Well, you know what? Let's go over here and just travel a bit more just because I'm fucking roving down Mars. Excuse me? Don't stop. Are there any, like, holes over here I should be worried about? Just kind of, like, diving in there and just, you know, screwing myself up. <laughs> come on, rover. Red rover, red rover, come on, man. Alrighty, we're, we're looking good right now. Let's see. Alright, there's some few things over here we can mine out and that's good. So let's hang out over here and now let's exit if we can. Alrighty. How do I get you guys to, um, come out? You guys want to come out? Huh? You don't want to come out. You're running out of food. Oh, God. That's no good. Let's come over here. You are done healing. Get your ass to agriculture. And, um, let's see. You are researching still. Let's get you out of researching for now. And I want you... Let's see. You should come over here, harvest plants, and you're going to do some research biology on terms of that right there for us. So our food is running low. Our water is about to run pretty low soon. Harvest plants to order resources from Earth to prevent starvation. So I can order a few resources over here, which is, I guess, not a bad thing to do. Let me come over here and... Yeah, you know, I'm gonna hold off on it. The water one does worry me, though. Do we have a thing for water? Oh, we haven't set up the water fountain, have we? Not really the water fountain, but the uh, water module. Let's see, so... Let me send you out of here. You continue making food, or harvesting food anyway. You, lady, are going to come out of the base, assuming you, you want to come out. Are you out now? You're not out. Where did she go? You're over here. Look, come back over here to the lander, okay? And I need you to come back outside. I know you don't want to do it, but you have to. It's in order for us to survive. Let me go into build over here and we'll get the... the water storage. Oh, we don't have enough sulfates, though. That's going to be a problem. You need to come inside over here. We need... oof, we need quite a few sulfates, as a matter of fact. Did you go back inside? Look. I need you to be, like, you know, going inside over here. I can't have you dying when I'm busy. Now, sulfates. Where are these bad boys going to be at? I think that's one right there. So, in order... How do I get you guys out of here? Oh, here we go. Unload rover. So, I think... Oh, God. Life support is failing? What do you mean, life support is failing? For the rover or what? I'm not sure what... Collect data. Okay, let's go check this out really quickly here. And you need to get these sulfates going on over here. And he kind of close to this little dust tornado there. I'm not sure what that's going to do to us, but um, I assure you, it can't be any good. 
All right, so you acquire that. You are collecting this data over here. I guess that's kind of interesting in a sense. Dust tornado, go away. Leave me alone. Nope, don't kill this man. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. That's the first time I've actually died. I like how this is still going on over here, even though he died. Samuel's Parish. His name has been inscribed upon the memorial stone. Left click to exit. Okay. Well, he's dead now. You guys did that. How's the sulfates coming along? We need a 22 for the water thing. So yeah, that's the part of the danger that you can run into the game itself. These um, little devil tornado things, I think is what they're called. Alrighty. So our food is still looking, you know, not amazing, but it's getting there, I suppose. Gotta keep working on it, though. Did our our module got wrecked, didn't it? What is this door supposed to be over here? Yes. Oh, that's the uh, memorial stone. I get you. So we have 23. That's enough for the actual upgrade. Let's have you, yes. Tilde, get out of there because um, this that's module's coming. This um, tornado's coming back over here. Okay. Then. I just need you to enter the rover. Yeah. If you could just enter this rover, that'd be great. There we go. All right, rover. We need to get back to base wherever that might be at. I think it's down this way. If I'm right. Is it? I'm not even sure. I wish I knew. But again, the map, the moment you get out of here and you just turn yourself around, you're kind of fucked because you're not even sure where you'll be going. So yeah, a map could be really ideal for this. Especially with all these gaps in the earth over here. I mean, I'm not sure why you wouldn't build like a GPS system on this rover to begin with. I mean, it just makes sense. You're going to be traveling and, you know, exploring Mars. You probably might get turned around. It's not like you're going to find like a deli and be like, oh yeah, I left the uh, base back, you know, around the corner of like Tom's Deli or something. So, luckily we did find it over here. It does look pretty cool when you actually roll up over here, I will admit that. Alrighty, so let's get out of here. Let's unload the rover, perhaps. Okay. And let's see, you gotta unload, yeah. Now you come inside? Okay. Life support's over here failing, now you're inside, everything's fine. Alrighty, I'm gonna call it an episode here, more than likely. Uh, this is a look at just um, Perry area, and again, there's a lot of good things I like about it, but there's also... Um, some things, as I mentioned, that I'm not too fond of. So it's kind of like a mixed bag. Definitely is. Um, it's still going through a lot of um, development right now. Again, it's a one-person party, kind of working on the, on the game itself. So, you know, there's got to be a little bit of room of error for there. For sure, I will admit that. But I'm, I'm, I'm interested in it. I definitely am. And I hope as long as it kind of continues developing over time, it could be something I could definitely come back to and I could really enjoy severely. But right now, it's kind of like, yeah, you know... Take it as you will type of thing. I'll have the information for it in the bottom and the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. Again, Perry Arion. I will catch you next time.